this e-commerce store, this portfolio site, this blog layout, and this crypto website, all of them were built in under 10 minutes using Google AI Studio. And that's not all. They're all currently running on WordPress right now. How? That's exactly what I'm going to show you today. We'll go step by step. First, I'll show you how to generate a complete website inside Google AI Studio. Then we'll download the code directly from Google AI Studio to my laptop. And after that, I'll guide you how to convert that code into a fully working WordPress theme using ChatGPT to structure everything perfectly. And finally, we'll activate that theme inside WordPress so it's live and ready for your visitors. Now I'm not going to take any shortcuts here. I'll show you the complete workflow so you can repeat it for your own projects. Let's get started. Before opening Google AI Studio, there's one important thing you need to understand. The quality of the website you get depends on how clearly you explain the AI what you want. So what does this mean for you? Instead of vague instructions, you want to describe your site like you're briefing a professional designer. Explain what the website is for, what sections it should include, the overall style you want, and any important buttons or call to action buttons you need in your website. Don't overthink this part. Your prompt doesn't need to be perfect or super technical. A few clear paragraphs or bullet points are more than enough. Along with the prompt, I always use a reference image. So where do I get these images? I usually grab them from layers.to, but really you can grab reference images from anywhere. Professional designers showcase real websites in places like Awards, Dribbble, Behance, or even from template libraries because all of them work great. These reference images gives the AI a visual guide and also help you pick styles that are already proven to work. This image does a lot of heavy lifting. It shows the layout, spacing, alignment, and overall visual style far better than words ever could. When you combine a clear prompt with a strong reference image, Google AI Studio has everything it needs to generate a solid website. Once that's ready, I can go to Google AI Studio and paste in my prompt. Now I've included the exact prompt I used in the description below, so you can just copy it and get started right away. Then I can upload the reference image. And after everything is set, you need to click the build button here and give it a few minutes. Google AI Studio generates a full website preview on the right side. And this isn't just a rough sketch. If you click on this code button on the top, you can see that all the components of the website with the header, hero section, content blocks, and footer is ready. It's basically structured like a production ready website. So you can see exactly how everything will look and fit together. Before I download anything, I take a moment to refine the preview. The AI generated layout is a strong starting point, but it's always worth fixing small things. If you skip this step, you will end up fixing these issues later in WordPress, which takes a lot more time compared to fixing them directly in Google AI Studio. This is where Google AI Studio's annotate feature comes in. On the bottom left, you'll see an option called annotate app. Click on it. Then you can select any section or element of the layout by simply drawing and highlighting it. For example, I can highlight a button here and then click add comment and type something like replace this solid color with a soft gradient or even add a subtle noise texture here and done. After that, I can click add to chat and hit enter. Give it a few seconds and the AI updates the preview based on your instructions. This is powerful because it lets you fine tune the design directly on the layout without touching any code. Finally, I can preview the site on desktop, mobile, and tablet. And once everything feels right, I just hit the download button and it gives me a zip file for the entire project. After extracting it, you'll see all the project files inside ready to work with. Now, here's a key thing to understand. The files you download from Google AI Studio are usually built using modern web technologies like JavaScript or TypeScript. And very often, you'll see files ending in .tsx. That's completely normal. You don't need to understand these files or edit them manually. 
all you need to know is that WordPress cannot use them directly. WordPress themes work a bit differently. They use PHP files, CSS and JavaScript. So before we bring this site into WordPress, we need to convert the structure into something WordPress understands. This is where ChatGPT comes in. I take all of the extracted files from Google AI Studio and upload the .tsx files right into ChatGPT. Then I ask it to convert everything into proper WordPress theme files. And to make it even easier, I've included the exact prompt I used in the description below. So you can just copy and paste it. I can ask ChatGPT to generate the core theme files like style.css with theme details, function.php to load the styles and scripts, and template files such as header.php, footer.php, and index.php. Now you don't need to memorize all of these file names. WordPress just looks for them automatically. Any images or styles are placed inside an assets folder. Once ChatGPT generates all of the files, I can put them together into a single folder. And if you're on a Mac, just right click and select compress. That turns the folder into a zip file. And that's it. This zip file is now ready to use as a WordPress theme. Next, I can jump into WordPress. And from here, you have two options. You can either upload your theme as a zip file, which is quick and easy, or you can place the theme folder manually using a file manager. But I'll show you the manual method. It's the best way to really understand what's actually happening behind the scenes. By default, WordPress doesn't actually have a file manager. But don't worry, we can fix that in seconds. Just go to the plugins tab and search for a file manager plugin. Then install and activate it. Once that's done, open the file manager from the menu and inside you'll see a folder called WP content. Open that and then go into themes. This is basically where all your WordPress themes are stored. From here, you can either upload the theme folder you just created or drag and drop the files manually. Either way, it's really simple. So inside the themes folder, I can just right click and create a new folder and then give it a name. This will be your theme name. Once that's done, I can simply drag in all the files I downloaded from ChatGPT, things like index.php, header.php, footer.php, and style.css. And that's it. At this point, WordPress already recognizes this as a valid theme. Now go to appearance. You'll see the new theme you just created. You can just activate it and that's all you need to do. As soon as the theme is activated, WordPress starts using it on the site. The design looks the same and the layout also feels the same. Even the spacing is preserved exactly how it was in the Google AI Studio. At this point, it's no longer just an AI preview from Google AI Studio. It's a real WordPress website ready to go live. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about how I use different AI tools like Google Anti-Gravity, then make sure to watch this video where I cover all of that in detail.